Good afternoon everyone, Logician here. I had some time to blow, so I, I thought I'd create a, a little video. Uh, I wanted to explain something because I thought it would make me feel better. But um, I wanted to explain something in uh, in Minecraft that I think uh, has been itching a few people, probably the more technically minded. Um, and that is, what the hell is Advanced OpenGL? I mean... I turn it on and it, it reloads the frame. I, I I I don't see much different about it. So like, if if I move around a little bit, you know, it's I it might be my computer. I have a I have an okay computer. Uh, it it seems like the the frame rate's not a whole lot different. See, it's about 30 right now, although it might be locked because I'm recording. But if I reload the frame, you know, it's it's at 29. So I mean, you know, what's what's the big deal? And uh, it actually has to do something with uh, the lower end, getting into the graphics hardware. And it's all about efficiency. Because um, whenever you're doing you know, live action stuff like a, a video game, you want, you want to focus on performance. I'm, I mean, you know, it's, it's nice to make it pretty with all these fancy leaf textures and stuff. But the... I mean, a lot of people are just looking at being able to play the game at a respectable frame rate, not having it, you know, be all choppy and everything. So, uh, one way they optimize this is uh, through a process called culling, which basically um, it removes uh, stuff from the rendering workflow so that it, it can speed it up. And there's two different types of culling. There's one called frustrum culling. Uh, I might spell that in a in a uh, annotation if anyone cares, and that basically just says, okay, we're gonna ignore everything that's not visible to the to the player. So everything that's off to the right here, everything that's off to the left, everything behind me, anything I'm not currently looking at gets completely ignored. It's thrown out, and this is usually. Uh, it's usually uh, automatically implemented by either the game engine or if they set it up into Minecraft, and I think that's what the uh, the F number here is is the amount of blocks uh, done by Frustum calling. But what Advanced OpenGL does? Watch watch this O number. Okay, I have OpenGL on. Now when I reload it, you see that that O number goes to zero, and so does the uh, now the F number is still there so it might not be what I think it is. Uh, but what Advanced OpenGL does is it activates another type of calling, C-U-L-L-I-N-G, called occlusion calling. Now, this requires a little bit of uh, explanation in the rendering process. Now, say... I'm just picking up some blocks here to, uh, to demonstrate real quick. So, let's say... I had two blocks set like this, okay? I can't see that rear wood block. It, it's there, but I, I can't see it. Now, with advanced OpenGL off, that block is actually still being processed by the video card. It's still being rendered, but this closer block is just getting placed over it. like just an, another image, like if you went into Photoshop or Paint and pasted something over something else. It just gets literally pasted right over it. And so the video card spends all this time rendering all this crap back here that I can't see when I'm... Sorry about that lag, I don't... Uh, anyway, I think my uh, boink just kicked in. But, um... So it's it's spending all this time rendering all this crap that doesn't matter to me because I can't see it. So the great thing about occlusion calling is if I turn it on, I mean, there's no way to prove that it's being ignored because as soon as I can see it, it comes up. So, you know, it's almost a Schrodinger's cat kind of thing. But as you can see, if I hide in front of the block here, uh, the O number up in the corner goes up. And those are the amount of blocks removed by occlusion calling. Now, the funny thing is, uh, it probably doesn't help that I'm recording with fraps, so there's not much of a difference, but you can try it yourself. Uh, 
I noticed it more on my older computer that had a... Let me just turn this music down. That's probably annoying. Uh, I noticed less of a difference on my older computer. And I think the reason for that is, is because it actually takes more processing power to decide which blocks to ignore than it does to just render them. I mean, you know, these are just 16 by 16 textures, and, you know, they're... They're just simple geometry, six faces. So you know, if you're if you're into rendering and computer graphics and all, you know, I think you know for most computers it actually takes more processing power to decide which blocks to ignore than to uh, just render them all and paste them on top of each other. So that's why a lot of people uh, try OpenGL and they don't see much of a difference. But um, one thing, in the long run, I think it will save you allocated memory, and that helps on lower memory systems. This this system has 4 gigs of RAM, and I have two of that approximately allocated to the uh, the Minecraft process with Magic Launcher. Awesome, awesome piece of software. And so, hang on, I'm being called. Yeah, I'll ignore it. So, anyways, I thought you guys might find that interesting. Uh, I'll be putting a link to a Wikipedia article on Frustrum and uh, Occlusion Calling in the description. Uh, if I left anything out or if I was completely inaccurate, please don't hesitate to let me know. I like being right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.